to the DIY designer. Uh, it is Friday and that means we DIY on Fridays. Um, I hope you guys have been liking the five ways to Friday series, which is on Mondays. Um, but today is a DIY day and I am so insanely stoked because I've been dying to make these shoes. You have no idea. I saw this photo actually in a magazine when I was getting my nails done and then I instantly like Googled them and needed like better pictures and found all of these, these incredible Christian Louboutin glitter rainbow badass high heels. I loved them. They did such an incredible job as Christian Louboutin does uh, and as they also do they made them out of my price range. So I can't afford them, but I love them. And so I thought uh, they're perfect to DIY. They're actually gonna be very easy to DIY, so I can't wait to show you. Uh, one note about um, the type of shoes, I just wanna say real quick. I would really recommend using like a suede or a faux suede type shoe, something that's fabric. Do not use like a patent or even like a slick kind of traditional looking leather because the way that we're gonna do it, it could like peel off. You actually wanna be able to paint into the fabric. So a faux suede, which is super cheap, is actually your best bet here. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and show you materials so we can start. So I wanna show you the first shoe that I already created my paint design with, my painter's tape design with rather, and you can see it's sort of a thick stripe, a skinny stripe, a thick stripe, a skinny stripe. You can create any design you want with your painter's tape, but this is actually how you create those clean lines. So you wanna make sure that you have a little tail on either end of the tape, because that's how you're gonna pull off the tape after the fact. The first one I did came a little bit short, so I just cut like an inch long piece and kind of wrapped it around. Now what you're gonna see is that I'm gonna alternate the sizes there and I'm following the same line. So I just continue to follow the line off of my first one, but I make a thinner stripe and then I go in and make a thicker stripe. And now I'm making a thinner stripe and then I go in and make a thicker stripe. And obviously as long as you're just continuing to follow the line, it appears as though it connects across the shoe even though the line no longer connects. So you just wanna take your time eyeballing it to make sure that they're even. And when you get on the back, they actually don't line up perfectly on the Christian Louboutin heels. So I didn't worry that mine didn't either. Just use an X-Acto knife to cut it clean. Now this is a super important step, you guys. Take your Mod Podge without any glitter in it at all and coat the entire, like go over your whole shoe. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna seal in your painter's tape so that it's like a perfect, clean, sealed situation. No glitter can get underneath it when you seal it like this and it dries clear, so don't worry. All right guys, we taped it off and did the Mod Podge over it, which is gonna seal the tape and make our lines much cleaner. There's two ways to apply glitter. One is you paint Mod Podge onto your surface and you sprinkle the glitter on top, tap off the excess, let it dry, and then do another coat of Mod Podge on top of it, sealing it in. That's a little bit messier because it's fine glitter and the shaking off, it sort of flutters about. You end up with you know a little bit on your face, a little bit all over the place, but it's gonna give you the most condensed, saturated glitter effect you're gonna get. The other option is mixing the Mod Podge with the glitter and making almost like a glitter glue paint and brushing it on. So that's the first one I'm gonna show you. You put a little bit of Mod Podge into a bowl and mix in a ton of glitter. You want it to be like a glitter glue. And then you're gonna brush it on. Now you'll be able to see that you can see the glitter, but once that Mod Podge dried clear, you could see the black shoe underneath, so it just isn't enough. So what I did is while that Mod Podge glitter combo is still wet, I sprinkled on an excess of glitter on top of it. Now when you're done with your each row, brush off any of the loose glitter. Again, the rest of the shoe that Mod Podge has dried, so there's nothing for that glitter to stick to, just brush it off. I will tell you that I realized on my second shoe that this is actually the best technique for every single glitter. You wanna mix the glitter and the Mod Podge together and paint it on and then sprinkle a little bit of loose glitter on top of it. I don't know why, but it made such a difference doing the combination. Just this alone is not enough, but once you sprinkle it, and the combination of the two really made a huge difference. So I've done the majority of my bright silver and I'm just cleaning everything off and I'm gonna move on to my dark. Before I do that, the good thing about doing this over a magazine or a piece of paper is you can sort of collect all of the old glitter and put it back in your container so you don't waste it. Now just turn the page of your magazine and move on to the next color. 
Now you can see here, I'm doing the other version, which is just Mod Podge and sprinkling on. Again, once I did my second shoe, I saw the difference and I realized actually that that first way is better. So I'm gonna continue to do it this way for the rest of them. But like I said, just make sure that you mix a little glitter and Mod Podge together for your first coat and then just sprinkle it on top. You're gonna move pretty fast here. You're gonna do on all your thin stripes, you alternate bright silver, gunmetal, bright silver, gunmetal. All right, so our silver and our like gunmetal stripes are all done and now it's time to fill in with our actual rainbow color. You wanna make sure that in between each layer, you give it just a little bit of time to dry because when you're sprinkling, you don't want all the other layers to still be wet and grab onto that new color. You want them all to be individual. So just kind of test them, like run your finger on them, see if they feel pretty dry. If they do, you're ready to move on to the next one. So, I mean, I'm talking like two or three minutes. Wait, it's not a long time. Um, okay, I'm gonna start with blue. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Oh my God. Ugh, I was so scared to do this. Okay, so it's time to do all the color. If you want to paint off the sole of your heel, you can do that. Um, I mean, uh, tape off the sole of your heel, you can do that. But if not, you'll see that because I painted it really carefully and I didn't actually get any Mod Podge, I was able to wipe off any of the glitter that got stuck to it because there was no glue actually holding it in place. Use your fingernail or a Q-tip or like a bamboo skewer, anything, it'll come right off, so no problem. Now, I'm following the colors that Christian Louboutin chose, but in this situation, you could do like an ombre color of gradient shades of pink or of blue or anything that you want, but I chose to follow their design pretty much exact. Again, I'm just following all the, uh, the different steps that we already talked about here. Um, I do still recommend what I said in the beginning, which is mixing each color with Mod Podge first and then sprinkling on a little bit just to add on to the end. And I've got one more tip that I did differently that I'm gonna tell you in just a minute. We have glitified, glitterified, whatever, the whole shoe. Um, the tape is all still on because what I would recommend doing at this point is let the Mod Podge completely dry and look for like gaps in glitter. So look, and if you can see the black from the shoe underneath, that means that that's a little spot that you wanna like tap a little more Mod Podge and sprinkle a little bit more glitter on. Once it's all solid and good to go, then we can cover it with a coat of Mod Podge to seal it all in. Now you just wanna brush off any loose glitter that's not actually attached, that's not really being held together um, by the glue. So just go with your brush lightly and brush it off. Now this is a very important tip. This is something that I did on the first shoe that I realized I should not have done. I took a wide brush and I brushed over everything in one fell swoop including each of the pieces of tape. You don't wanna do that. You wanna use your small brush again and just go over each stripe of glitter, trying to actually avoid the tape because you'll see when I peel off the tape, it gives me a little resistance that on my second shoe, I didn't have. My second shoe peeled perfectly. This shoe looks really good, but I did have to go in with an X-Acto knife to kind of clean up a couple edges where I had sealed in too much of the Mod Podge. Now, we're basically done. This is now where you're gonna go in and clean it up. So you can see anywhere that you have glitter where you shouldn't, just get in there with your X-Acto. You can clean it up. This Mod Podge is a glue, so you can cut and it basically just like peels right off, which makes the cleanup process super simple and allows you to make like everything perfect. We did it.